Hi all, so in this video I just wanted to give you a little bonus to show you what would happen if you animated a point count and had constraints in the network. So I'm just going to animate the number of points from say 1 to 100 on frame say 500 maybe, like so. Um, and then I add dynamics, so if I just rewind and play you get this, nothing interesting about that. But if we just rewind and then just add a constraint, just default constraint, rewind, press play, you end up with some crazy stuff going on. So constraints are being added to these objects after they've been created. So they're just joining it with anything that they can. And then there you go, these two have connected up. So basically everything's trying to connect to everything all the time. And it was some weird stuff going on. So you can turn that behavior off if you want to, and that behavior is continuous creation. And what that means is if you turn this off, it means that constraints can only be created on the first frame that the um, object existed. Now in this situation, uh, because the um, no two cubes have been created on the same frame, no constraints have been created. However, if I just go back into the distribute node and then take this uh, frame 500 uh, key and move it down to say frame, I don't know, 50 um, and then play this again lots of frames lots of um, of these cubes are created on the same frame as other cubes which means that they can then get connected so uh, that is uh, what continuous creation on uh, um, on constraints is like it's pretty cool pretty fun um, so if I just turn that back on continuous creation and then let's just turn the friction up like that, and then let's just see what the mess we get is. So nice, dense <laughs> network of mess. Anyway, so that is what uh, continuous uh, continuous constraints does.